Hey everybody, I'm back. And I got this freight train to roll it. Well, pretty good timing. <laughs> that was an important phone call I had to answer. Now I'm just going to go ahead and mark my other one. I need to make me a pattern this size, really. So I uh, don't have to go through that every time. Save a little bit of foam. Yeah, that's much better. such big beefy uh, parts you know the landing gear ain't going to get destroyed you know if I bounce her in uh, just just so many advantages you know just hauling that big old thing around and uh, I could use smaller turbines I don't have to carry so much fuel see it just it's a it's a ripple effect you know and it's just I can think of about 30 good reasons why it would be worth laying up a new fuselage out of this. You know, it's just amazing. And it would be easy to do on that big thing, you know. Just vacuum bag it down. And, uh, man, I could just take big chunks away. And remember, that fuselage, three layers of 10 ounce. Three. That fuselage is heavy. You know, then the staff's got two layers of carbon. I don't have to build my staff so heavy. Uh, that whole elevator mechanism will benefit, you know. The wings don't have to be as beefy. The main spar don't have to be as big and heavy. And So maybe it was a good thing. Should have even, you know, if I got that thing down to 120 pounds, uh, four P80s would fly it great. Or two P200, you know what I mean? And not have to carry so much fuel in it. And it's just... So, that's what I'm going to be doing. That 
don't think this thermic tube is done. And for all you people out there who's been wondering, no, there is no flight video on the B-1 yet. <laughs> okay. Now what we got to do is keep this stuff up. Now this is like a regular heat gun. This is not what you use for like Monaco. Yeah. 